Today, we go through most of the leaks and rumors that we have on Intel's upcoming 12th generation platform. Honestly, it looks pretty promising. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. As we all know, Alda Lake S CPUs from Intel are right around the corner. And as usual, we got a bunch of leaks about it. So let's recap most of it and add some new information so that we're all on the same page because yes, it definitely looks like Intel will come out on top this time. First, let's talk about the platform. The new Alder Lake CPUs aren't going to fit in your current Intel motherboards. The uh, socket itself is going to be a more rectangular shape with more pins dubbed LGA 1700. As for the motherboard chipset, it also is different to accommodate new technologies and it's going to be called the 600 series chipset. With the new platform, you get some pretty good upgrades. For memory, we got compatibility with DDR4 and also DDR5, so depending on the motherboard that you choose, you can use one or the other, but not both at the same time. Then there's the PCIe. Strangely, Intel has three generation of PCIe baked into the whole platform. The chipset, for whatever reason, has some PCIe Gen 3 lanes. That's on the leaked chipset diagram. The CPU also has four lanes of PCIe Gen 4. It's likely that this will be used for NVMe storage, but we'll get back to that in a moment. It seems like Intel is planning to link up the chipset with up to eight lanes of PCIe Gen 4. I say seems because Intel uses a uh, DMI interface, which is similar, but not exactly PCIe. Nevertheless, through this link, you can get some PCIe Gen 4 lanes on the chipset. And now we've got the big boy, PCIe Gen 5. According to recent leaks, the PCIe Gen 5 for Intel's platform will be a little bit weird. Instead of 20 lanes divided into a by 16 lane for the GPU and a by 4 lane for an NVMe drive like we've seen time and time again from AMD and Intel before, we only have 16 lanes of PCIe Gen 5. And as is written on some chipset diagrams for the platform, it would either be 16 lanes to a GPU or an Intel SSD or eight lanes for a GPU and eight lanes for an Intel SSD together. In the last video, we saw that in multi-threaded performance, the top dog from Intel does pretty well. In fact, according to the leaks, it beats AMD's 16 core monster, the 5950X, by 6% in Cinebench R23, scoring 30,500 points. But what about the single core score? Well, if you remember, I said that Intel would beat AMD's best CPU, but we didn't have proof or know by exactly how much. Well, today, Twitter leaker HXL posted some screenshots with some interesting information. Intel's top of the line 12900K, that's an 8 plus 8 cores, 24 thread CPU, well, it would score 2,050 points. That's just under 22% faster than AMD's best. And since Intel's CPU stack usually doesn't fall off too much between models, you can expect the 12700K and probably the 12600K to be the AMD competition too in single core. As for the multi-core score for these i5s and i7s, well, we'll have to wait and see because the stack of CPUs is fairly varied. We'll have up to a maximum of eight performance cores and eight eco cores, and apparently the lineup will go all the way down to two performance cores and zero eco cores. For us enthusiasts though, we'll probably be more interested in the four performance and four eco cores combination and anything above that since it would probably replicate the six to eight core configs of today. Now, what about the competition? Well, AMD's latest and greatest Zen 3 is a beast, sure, but it's also almost a year old. Heck, it's only a few weeks away from its anniversary. So AMD has to have something planned, right? Well, yeah, while we don't know exactly when it will launch, AMD did tease us with its 3D vCache infused Zen 3 CPUs. And I'm guessing that they've been keeping this one in their pocket for this specific reason. With improved yield and 3D vCache, a refresh of Zen 3 could be what's next for the red team. And I know I'm saying refresh, but it could be an entirely new lineup like Ryzen 6000. And then there's the big ticket item, quite literally, the price. 
On AMD's side, we have the information. The company upped the prices for their top dog last year with the 5000 series. From the 749 US dollars on the 16 core 3950X, we got a uh, 799 price tag for the 5950X. That's $50 more. And that happened to pretty much all of the models. The 5900X, 5800X, and 5600X. They were all hiked up by $50. Unfortunately, we don't know exactly what price Intel is planning for the 12th generation, but we did have a leak a couple of weeks ago. According to the leak posted by Momomo US over on Twitter, the 12900K would be about $700 US, followed by the 12700K at about $500 US, and the 12600K at around $350. With that, you have some KF variants with slightly lower prices. Now, these might be some placeholder prices, but they do seem to align with AMD's pricing. Heck, Intel might even be able to undercut AMD here, expecting the red team to launch their Zen 3 Plus SKUs soon after. So what do you guys think? Is Intel ready to take back the top spot for the next generation? Would you switch to Intel for your next CPU, assuming that AMD forces you to buy a new motherboard? Let me know what you think down below. In any case, guys, that's pretty much it for the whole roundup of Alder Lake. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's story. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Ace Intel, Alder Lake, I'll be there making a new mistake. That's right. Alder Lake S. Beep.